J.J. Arcega Whiteside, the wide receiver from Stanford. Why is everybody sleeping on him? Why? Because he's too big? Why? Because he's not a physical... Why? Because he's not a typical slot receiver with a lot of speed? This guy has speed. This guy's not a deep threat. People are telling me that he's going to outrun people in the NFL on a, you know, on deep routes, on, you know, uh, go routes, which I don't think so. I think he's going to be that contested catch slot receiver, and they could put him outside and use him for intermediate stuff. You know what I mean? They could do both with him, um, but... You know, as of right now, this guy is the lengthy, longest guy I've ever seen in my life, okay? As a football player and skill metric to how his body is, it's absolutely insane what this guy could do. He makes contested catches look so easy. I thought Alshon Jeffrey made him easy, but this guy makes him look even more easy because, what, he's 6'4", 230 pounds? I don't even know what he is. But this guy is just humongous, and he is going to do well. He is a very, very, very good polished route runner. Very good at the route tree. Very good. He's physical coming off the line. He, he His body overtakes defensive backs. And he just goes up and grabs that ball. Big hands. Long arms. Abnormally long arms. Long legs. Guy could jump for days. But... I just don't see why. I know everybody wanted DK Metcalf, but DK Metcalf wasn't a polished route runner. And and the only reason why some of you know DK Metcalf, just like I did, the only reason how I found out about DK Metcalf was because of his good combine that he had. He had a good combine. Oh my God. He had a good combine. So let's, he's the best receiver in the draft now. No. Okay. DK Metcalf doesn't know the route tree. He's a physical come up and grab it type of receiver, which is great. He's good at that. But when it comes to running routes, when it comes to his blocking is okay, um, and because he had a good combine, I mean, who gives a fuck about the combine? I'm not a big combine guy. How many videos did you see me doing on the combine? Not much because combines are like, they're good days, they're bad days for players at the Combine. The guys are nervous. Guys know 50 million eyes are watching them and every move that they make. Some guys have really bad Combines and make it to the NFL. It does not matter, okay? It doesn't matter. The 40 time, okay. I'll give you the 40 time for certain positions. But other than that, that's really it. But our Sega, JJ Arcega Whiteside is going to be a complete wide receiver in on this team. Nelson Aguilar is gone after this year. That is your slot receiver. And yes, he's not the home run hitter, but this guy is going to be unfair. Every wide receiver and tight end we have is over six feet tall. Over six one, over six two, six two and higher, if you count everybody, besides Sean Deshaun Jackson. But I'm just saying. In the red zone, he's a beast. A beast. This guy is going to be un. It's going to. It's not going to be fair. It's not going to be fair when you have Alshon Jeffrey with him. Zach, forget it. Forget it. You know, I put him in the game because honestly, what Doug Pearson is going to do is when it comes to red zone, Nelson Aguilar's coming out or Deshaun Jackson's coming out, and they're going to put JJ Arcena Whiteside. On the damn lined up, and they're going to put him in these red zone. Plus, with Jordan Howard in the backfield, and and Miles. Oh my God, this is this is going to be a goddamn nightmare. This is going to be a nightmare. I don't know how you're going to stop it. The red zone. I don't know how the Eagles are going to fail in the red zone. I honestly don't know how they're going to fail because I can't see them failing whatsoever. But you guys got to stop sleeping on this guy like he was nothing. The Eagles didn't just pull him out of a bag, pull him out of a hat. You know. This was the guy on their board, and this is who they wanted. I don't know if they wanted someone higher than him. Apparently, even with Hollywood Brown, apparently they th everyone thinks he's not going to last much in the NFL just because he's 166 pounds and he's going to get laced once. Boom, his career is fucking done. Who knows at this point? He's already injured. He's already injured right now. He's been injured in his college career, and he's already injured now getting drafted, and God knows if he's going to get injured again. But I want Hollywood Brown because I just love his deep threat ability. But, you know, I'm glad the f we drafted offensive tackle in the first round. Smart choice, smart move. Andre Dillard can't complain. But do not sleep on JJ. Don't. The g 
As a slot receiver, you don't see many slot receivers with the attributes he has. Now, I know at Stanford, he played on the outside. He was burning guys. Not burning them, but he would use he would catch a ball and use his physical body to knock him over and just run for, I mean, just go free for a touchdown. I mean, this guy is going to be unfair on the field with the rest of this offense. Forget about it. Carson Wentz is a tall quarterback, which is even better because he will see him so much more. So you know how some games when Carson Wentz threw the ball so freaking high, even at high wide receivers? Well, this is as high as you're going to fucking get. So hopefully he don't miss this guy because <laughs> this is going to be... This guy is going to be sick in this offense. I mean, you cannot complain about this guy. Oh my god, I'm just I'm just watching like just the future right now. I'm just seeing these guys lined up and how unfair it's going to be. This is going to be nuts. As a slot receiver, he looks like a tight end out there. He honestly could play tight end too, but this guy has he's an ex NBA player. Okay, I'm mean, not ex NBA. He's a he's a guy that that could have went to college to play basketball. I don't know why I just said an NBA player. Because he, because he seems like it with how athletic he is when he jumps up and he catches these balls, like throw it up, and he's got it, and um, he's just very athletic. He's got quick feet. He's got moves to put on DBs for a tall, you know, big guy. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, so you guys got to stop with this. Like we should have got DK Metcalf and all this shit. You guys got to stop with this. All right, the shit is done. We have J.J. Arcetta Whiteside on this team right now, and he is going to be a fucking beast, mark my words. So that's all I got to say. Leave a comment in the comments section below what you guys think about him. I will see you guys later. Shake squad up. Files fly.